Hey guys, I'm making a little progress on the uh, Predator Swap on this uh, chipper shredder here that used to have old Briggs. Um, what I've done is I'm trying to do this with making the least modifications and not having to purchase as much stuff, you know, because not everybody has a welder and things of that nature. And so I thought, you know what, let's try to... You know, we'll try to uh, jerry-rig this thing a little bit to a certain extent. Um, so what I did was right here, if you notice, on the um, oil uh, filler cap, I've got two of them, one on the other side. And um, the chute here wasn't clearing because it extended out a little bit. So I uh, cut it down to where it would fit, and that slid right on. I was able to then... Um, you know, center up all the bolts on the engine and uh, mount it. I also put some uh, engine uh, uh, bolts down on the bottom here because it didn't have any before, even on the Briggs. And the other problem that I ran into was the exhaust. Now, you can go online and you can buy one for $30 or whatever, but um, I decided what I was going to do is I was going to try to do this the most economical way as possible because all this is is an exhaust. As long as you got a decent sized thick thick piece of metal and stuff, you know, to, to carry the gas out, it's going to be fine. And so what I did was is I took the original exhaust for this and I cut it right there as it's starting to come up. You see that? And then I drilled a hole in it. And I went out and I was trying to find some uh, tubing or piping or something that I could then fit this because there's not a lot of clearance right here. And so we had to go up. So what I decided to do was is I got some of these electrical fittings. It's a three-quarter. And I drilled the hole in it because I want that screw to go all the way through and lock in. And, of course, I'm also going to use some high-temp Loctite to uh, make sure that it doesn't come out. And so what I did was, is then I got a piece of uh, metal conduit. And so that is going to go on there. And then that goes in there. And then we take... Oh, All right. We take this one to go on there. And then we take the exhaust where I drilled another hole in, and it's going to go right there. And once we get that thing all tied in place, it's going to be out of the way enough for us to be able to do the, uh, the finish the build. And I'm going to spray it with a uh, high temp uh, barbecue paint to, to blend it in. But uh, I'll let you guys know how that works out. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but hey... You know, it cost me seven bucks for materials, and so um, that's not bad. And like I said, it's just for exhaust gas anyway, and so I think, you know, this this should be all right, especially it's not like I'm going to be running this thing for hours anyway, just maybe an hour at the most, you know, depending on how much heavy brush I get, you know, during the wintertime when it falls. So, uh, all right, so I'll keep you guys updated. Take care.